Hey guys, my name is Taylor. So I, I want to quickly show off this uh, piece of software I've been working on. Basically, it lets um, basically it tries to predict your next mouse click, um, and it uses this, your current screen and also your your m history of your mouse position. Um, and I kind of like rejiggered the uh, segment anything to model for it. Um, and so one thing I've trained it on real quick was web grid. It's like it's one of the easiest things to to do it on because it's um, here, let me do this real quick. Well, actually, make it, gotta make it bigger. Um, I'm to make it as big as possible because um, basically the way my model works is it. Uh, all right, there we go. It predicts a 64 by 64 grid, and it predicts like the most likely point in there. So if this is too small of a grid, it's gonna have a hard time. But this is about the same. It's bigger, so it's fine, as you can see. Um, so we're setting set the world record, and it's it's going to be super easy on something like this, as you can imagine, because you know it's just literally has to predict the a blue box where it is, and so any simple convolutional network could do it. Uh, but the cool thing is when you know maybe there's multiple boxes, uh, and you and it takes in the mouse history data, and I'll show that in a second. I get a world record here. It's going a little bit slower just because I got video recording. It's using the screen data. Come on. I think the current record right now is uh, like 17. Oh, nice. Okay. 20 points. So, yeah. Beat it. I'll show, um, I'll also show you real quick on, uh, you can also see how it's jumping to the post there. Because um, I've just trained a little bit, so it's, you know, it wants to go into the post. Alright, so, get out of here. Um, I also, I'll show it on my own. I have a web grid too, and this has two different points. I just want to show how it's, uh, and here's the actual prediction uh, output. It's a 64 by 64 pixel. Right, I gotta get the UI better. Right now it just jumps to the thing. Come on. To get bigger. This is, it's not perfect yet. All right, here, so there's the drawing window. And let's see. see it's kind of hard to see these points on drawing window but as I move closer to this one you can see that I don't know if you can see it because it's so small but the probability of this point So now it's jumped back. Jumping too much, but hmm. looks like it's not using the mouse position data as much as it should be. Seems happening a little bit, but it's not quite working. I think I overtrained it on the web grid and now it's just always jumping to one rather than using the mouse position data. The idea is to get a, a good prediction of where you could click and then use the mouse, uh, basically your mouse data to predict where it's going to be. And I think it's a fun little thing. I know it's like, kind of, it's definitely kind of cheating obviously you know, to do this on the web grid, but you know, if you can make it generic enough so that you could train it, um, you know what your intent is going to be, where your intent is going to be. Um, I do think it'll be.
be a cool little tool. But anyways, I just want to show it off for fun. Bye for now.